Hey everyone, it's your girl Manavia. So I'm back with you on another video. I decided that I'm gonna do a facial and facial peel on myself because my skin has been like super, super dry and I have like little flakes everywhere on my forehead and I just wanna get rid of it because I'm just like super annoyed of seeing this. I've been in quarantine, which like most of you guys are anyways. My skin has just been super dry. I wanna get rid of that. So, we gonna get started. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna keep updated with like a lot of beauty and lifestyle. So I'm gonna go in with this Petal Fresh cleanser, facial cleanser. What I love about this is that it's really, really nice and soapy. Like I wanted like more of a soapy texture. It just does miracles absolute miracles to my skin also has aloe and peppermint it gives you that like that tingle sensation that you want and right after that i'm gonna go in with a facial scrub and what i love about this facial scrub is that it's actually like a creamy facial scrub so you feel like you're actually getting the moisture that you need into your skin give you that hydration that you were looking for it's also for all skin types i absolutely love it so this one is aloe and apricot those two key ingredients will definitely give you that citrusy like feel that you want and it's a little bit acidic and it will actually get rid of those dead skin cells that you've been wanting to get rid of like for this whole time you've been in quarantine. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with a facial clay mask. This one is aloe and pomegranate. You guys, aloe has many great properties for healing just moisturizes your pores and everything you know so i really find that this clay mask is a little goes a long way if you are someone who's like frustrated with like hyperpigmentation i would recommend this clay mask 100 you know pomegranate is also really really good as well like you guys i love eating pomegranate it has major health benefits especially for women who have like ovarian cysts so yeah i decided to you know what i'm going to start using this because i know that it works you know what i mean i leave it on for 10 minutes and then you know, i wouldn't suggest leaving this on overnight don't do it don't do it at home and then i'm gonna end Petal Fresh product, which is used for the facial part, a deep moisturizing cream. And this one also has aloe and maple sugar. Oh my goodness. You guys like maple sugar? We gonna do this, all right? So another thing though, you guys, you don't necessarily need to put this right away. Okay, if you're deciding to go with a peel right after this, you don't have to put this on right away because you can also keep your deep moisturizer for the end. You know what I mean? Since it's actually gonna penetrate everything into the skin that is necessary, I would suggest waiting. You know, if you really wanna get all those layers off that you're just really tired of, I would definitely suggest putting this last. And even SPF is perfect, but since I'm gonna be inside for a very long time, I decided that I'm not gonna use SPF. And um, if anything, if I decide to go outside for like a second or so, I'm gonna just wear a hat and the hat will protect my face from the sun. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna go in with this BB Cosmetic spatula that I have, very nice silicone brush. And what I wanna do with it is actually pick up the product with it because it's gonna make it a lot easier to just apply it to the face. All right, so I'm gonna start putting the cleanser on. So I'm just grabbing it like this, and I'm like putting it in my hand. So it makes it a little easier rather than grabbing it directly from the escargot plate. So I got it all in here. I'm just gonna start cleansing. Right, so as you guys can see, is that it does have that nice soapy texture. You can even feel that like my skin is just like drinking it up and loving this product already doing the work that it needs to be done. I just want to add like a little bit of extra water to make it like more soapy. So I just wanted a little bit of water so I can really saturate this really nicely right now. It feels super minty and I love that feeling because I know that it's working and I know that it's giving me the effect that I want. Well, I have like an issue with like dirt sticking in between. So now I'm gonna rinse it off. 
we might have to rinse like two three times wow i feel refreshed and i can see that my skin looks different already even with just this so i got my scrub here and love this texture we are going to apply this everywhere i'm you know one of those people that really like putting it on the neck yeah so now i'm just adding a little bit of water lips are dry which they are because i haven't been outside sometimes my eyebrows get flaky too you know and i think that it's best to scrub them as well feels good aid loving somebody when somebody loves you back baby baby it's super super good to do this at least one to three times a week you just want to get rid of those really dead dry flaky skin cells that are laying on your skin some people would actually only put makeup and they didn't even exfoliate i don't think that makes any sense because your skin is super super dry or let's say super oily or whatever skin combination whatever that you are you actually want to get rid of those dead skin cells if you're gonna be wearing makeup, especially if you're wearing makeup on a daily basis. If you guys have an esthetician, don't be afraid to go to your esthetician and ask a few questions. What you can do is leave this on for a good three to five minutes. So oh, now I'm gonna rinse. Wow, I already feel like my skin is a lot more radiant, but I definitely can't wait to talk to you. My husband just got home. Are you gonna come and say hi, Harley? No, no way. Quarantine Harley, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. And kiss you, yeah. Oh. Oh, he gave me a kiss. Okay, so now I'm actually going in with my mask brush. Oh my gosh, you guys, this mask is super nice, super creamy. I love the texture of this mask. Zombie. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put a timer for 10 minutes. Do the countdown. It's been 10 minutes. All right, so you guys, the texture of the mask is like super like hard now. If I do like a facial expression, it's gonna crack so it really is dry see a chalky texture now we're gonna take this off now we're going down to the itty gritty all right so i opened up the box so we can see what they have okay so there's the reishi serum and then we got the peel, 2.7 pH. But what's good is that this can actually be a couple of uses. You don't have to use the whole thing, you see? So that's what's really great about doing a peel is that you have the opportunity to do this over and over on yourself. And then there is a Reishi Mushroom Ginger Mask. Ooh, ginger. I love ginger. So these are the three steps to do. And we're gonna do it. All right, so I'm gonna open this. I just took off that top part. And then I'm gonna take this and to pull it. I'm gonna use Q-tips to apply this evenly everywhere. Only areas you're not supposed to touch is basically around the eyes, the nostrils, and obviously the mouth. So I'm gonna just dip it in this and start applying it. This peel, we're supposed to leave this on for four to six minutes. I can see that my skin is still dry. That's why I really need a good pill because 
I need something with chemicals. If you know what I mean. I can already feel it tingle. Which is another thing that I really want. You can also put more onto the area that you want to really focus on. Look, I still have quite a bit left to go a long way. The tingle is not like overbearing that you can't handle it, but they do have certain peels that it feels like it's burning so bad in your skin that like you have to put a fan over your face. All right, so it has already been four to six minutes. I find it really like dried up my skin, like to make it tight. I love that feeling because I know that it did something. Like I can even see a difference in my skin right now. Okay, so after this, we're supposed to put the mask. This is the mask. It definitely smells gingery. We're gonna take the Q-tip and apply some in here. I actually have my Reishi mushroom mask right there. I'm gonna apply it over. Just use your q-tip. Honestly, I love the smell of this mask. It smells so good. It's still gonna give you that stinging sensation, but that's normal. This mask is for five to seven minutes and we gonna rinse it. I'm just done. And now we are going to remove this. <laughs> My skin feels so soft. Wow, now we have the serum and we don't need too much. Just make sure that you have enough left over for later. This actually stays on. Feels so soft. I can't wait for it to peel. That's what I want. I just want to like the new skin. I'm gonna put my cream that I said to you guys before. And slide it in. I can feel it stinging. It's like burning, but I know it's gonna work. That's why I'm loving this. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this because I'm gonna use a little bit of my J Roller. This one I love because it actually vibrates really cool. So flawless jade, and it's. Oh yeah, and now you can actually put the cream if you want. That's up to you though, but because you know, there's people that have wrinkly and puffy eyes, right? If you don't want that, put a little bit. Doesn't hurt. Uh, it feels so cooling. It has like this really nice cooling effect, especially right after doing this. You want to just have that nice cooling effect to your skin. so good it's like it's just massaging your face and it knows exactly the spots that you need you guys it's also really good for your skin to do a jade roller it actually plumps up your skin and helps for the pores there's a nice lifting effect this is nice for the eyes even if you want to get into little corners this is also helping to wake up the muscles in the face as well as the collagen and elastin, giving that protection to your skin that needs to be awakened. Also, the tingling went down. I want to massage this in a bit more. <laughs> My skin has like a little bit less cream and stuff, but I'm also going to use wet therapy on my face. I want to get rid of those fine lines. Wet therapy is definitely going to help with that. Also help for like stimulating the skin. It's going to be a little bit red, but you know what? I don't want to just have a nice lymphatic drainage on my skin. I feel like I have more like a pumpkiness to it and it looks a little bit more rosy and nice. I also want to put this on under eye mask collagen. I 
Okay, so basically, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. There's a little trick that you can do. So if you actually wanna flip this over, especially if you're starting to get a little saggy around here, don't be afraid to put it over the eyebrow area too. I'm finished with these, throw them out, garbage, no longer needed. You know, it says to rinse it off, but I actually want the full effect, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna keep you updated and show you how my skin is actually reacting to this peel. If please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and to check in my description box with all the details to the products that I used. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys.